Hello everyone. This is my new video tutorial series where I will be talking about some general programming concepts that will help you write better code for your Unity games. And in this video, I will be talking about properties. Properties add a layer of abstraction between your internal class variables and the outside world. They give you a very fine grain control over how your variables are accessed by other scripts. They are also very helpful when you want to validate or error check uh, any access from outside. And you can also add some logic and some code with all your variables so that whenever your variable is accessed, you are not just passing the value of that variable, but you are also running some code or functions along with that variable. So you can do more stuff with your variables. So I have created a small unity project to demonstrate the use of properties. In this project, I have a player with a player class and an enemy with an enemy class and the enemy has a reference to the player script and I will show you how the enemy is accessing a player variable which in this case is the health. So this is the player class it has a private variable health and the enemy will try to access this variable. So the first thing you, you will notice is that for the enemy to access the health variable of the player the health must be public but in almost all of the cases you should always try to make your critical variables not public because if everybody has an access to that variable they can change it either accidentally or on purpose so here i will demonstrate the first use of properties which in this case is a way to expose your private variables while still having more control over what the other scripts can do to your variable so rather than just making my health public in which case the enemy or any other script will have full control over my health variable they can do anything will with it i will create a property called health and using that property i will exercise more control over how this health variable is accessed properties are generally associated with a private variable in your class whose values they are exposing in a controlled manner to the outside world. So I will create a property called health for my internal variable health and then explain to you the various elements of a property. So here I have created a very simple property called health with a capital H for my private variable health. It is a general convention that your property name should start uh, with a capital letter and the name is generally same as your private variable. And inside the property you can see two things the get and the set. These are called accessors. And they are called accessor because they are helped to control the access to your private variable health. The get accessor block controls what is the value that the outside function will get from this variable. So if they want to get the health value, this get code block will run and whatever you return, uh, whatever you write after this uh, return word will be the actual value that any outside function will get. The set accessor controls how any value coming from outside which is going to change your uh, internal variable, your private variable health. This code block will control how it, it is going to set your private variable. So in this example of our property health, whenever uh, any outside function wants the health value we are directly returning our private variable when they want to set the health value we are directly setting the value without doing any validation or error checking so this property is exactly same in functionality as if we have made our 
private health as public float health. So it is not doing anything special which we previously could not have done by simply making it public. But let's first check how any outside function can access our private health variable using this property. So when you come to our enemy class, instead of writing player dot health, so let's change it its name so that it's easy to for me to say and differentiate between the private variable and the public property. Let's name it private health. Right. So now this enemy, this enemy class won't have direct access to the private health variable, but it can, it will use the public property to access, to either get the private health value or set the private health value. So I can write the player class dot health. One thing you will notice is that any variable is shown with a blue cube symbol and any property is shown with the black wrench symbol. So I will write player health and now either I can set it to a particular value for example 5 or I can also get the uh, health value for example let's say float f is equal to player dot health. This will directly change the health value private health value to 5 and this will get the health value you of the private health variable using the public property. Now one problem that we have in this demonstration is that the unity inspector can't show properties directly. So I can't have uh, the player health value shown here in my inspector. So to solve that problem I will create a very simple GUI and I will show the health uh, value in a using the simple unity GUI text box. So I've created a simple text field and its text is updated every frame and it is made equal to the private health variable. So you can at all times know what the private health value is. And to show how it works, I will create a simple way to change the health value from the enemy script. So let's set, uh, fix it to any keyboard input. If get key down, so x2 increase the health, and so the way to set any set the health value is by using player dot health, and we will increase it let's say by five, and we'll have another enemy control which is if we press A. We will decrease the health by 5. Let's test this in action. So whenever I am pressing X, the health increases by 5 and by pressing A, it decreases by 5 and I am doing everything from the enemy script using the public property. Now this was just the, uh, the simplest of the properties and if you don't want to do anything extra or anything fancy with your property, you just want a property for each of your public variables which is done in many softwares that they will just create a simple property for their private variables without having any logic inside of it. So a shorthand to do this uh, to create this type of property is to simply write let's create another property called shorthand shorthand health and if you don't want anything extra or fancy you can simply write it like this so this will automatically generate uh, these uh, these codes for this properties and it will behave exactly same as this health property. Now we will get into some advanced uses of properties.
that are not just limited to making your private variables public so one of the simplest thing that you can do is to change the access of your private variable such that outside scripts can only get the value of your variable and they can't set it this is useful in cases where your important variable for uh, example in this case your private health you want the outside scripts to get what the value of your health is for example your ui system would want your health values at all time to update it for example to show a health bar but you don't want the ui system to directly change your health either accidentally or um, by other means you just want to give them the value and don't uh, not give them the power to change your value so this can be achieved using properties by simply removing the set part of your property so if I just delete my set block and this will mean that outside scripts can get my value but they can't set it. Now if you come to the enemy script you can see that all the places where I was using the health property to set the player health directly won't be usable anymore. The ID, Visual Studio will start giving you compilation error etc. And you can see that the the place where I am just uh, getting the health value, it still works. We don't have an error. So this way, by just removing the set block, we can have a better, we can uh, create a better access to our important variables. The next important use is for validation and error checking for that we will use the set block and inside the set block you might have noticed in the, our previous set block we wrote private health equal to value the value part here the value is the uh, default variable which is which will always return the value that is being given by the outside access of your health so when in the enemy in, in the enemy class i have written player health is equal to 5 then in that case the value variable this is an auto generated variable you don't have control over value this variable and it its value will always be equal to the value that is uh, being used as a set value now inside our set block we can write certain logics which uh, which will help for either for error checking or for validation so in this case let's assume our player health varies between 0 to 50 and if the enemy tries to decrease our health below 0 we want an error check there so that our health never goes below 0 so we can do that check right here by let's first uh, change our private health to the given value and then we will do an if check that if private health is now less than zero we will make our private health equal to zero this this way even if uh, the enemy is trying to make my health less than zero this error check block will always return it to the zero value in the same way we can do it for our max value so that the health remains below 50 or 100 or any max health value that your game has. So we will check it inside the code x to increase the health and when we decrease the health below 0 it never goes below 0 because, the, because of the error check that we have written directly inside the property. So in this way you don't have to write a separate function to check your health value at all times so that it remains between the range the this logic is written directly inside your property so your code is more cleaner the logic is more clear and you will have a better time debugging or understanding if any uh, bug appears in your code so it is a better way of error checking and validating and by validating i mean suppose if uh, the enemy is trying to set your health value to uh, suppose enemy is trying to uh, damage your player and you know 
damage will decrease your health value by some amount but you also know that the enemy damage would generally lie between 0 to 100 so you can I uh, so you can put a check of this value so that the value lies between some uh, realistic values of enemy damage so that is the validation part that you can do inside your set block inside your property the next important user is the abstraction of your private variables but that I mean is that your health your internal health value may lie between 0 to 1 your UI may show your health between 0 to 100 or you have a separate kind of UI in a circular fashion in which your health uh, lies between your radial angle from 0 to 360 so your internal representation of health may vary and different systems may want a different representation of your health so using properties you can control what uh, value is returned to the accessing uh, classes so let's suppose my private health lies between 0 to 1 this is useful uh, you can either make it lie between 0 to 100 or 0 to 1 and it is easy to calculate percentage of your health if you store it between this value and as a as a parameterized thing but when you are returning this health value to other systems you may want to return it as between 0 to 100 so you only have to do is uh, so let's say that our UI system uses health as between 0 to 100 so our internal private health would be different but the thing that is going to the UI system would be a health between 0 to 100 a great example of this functionality is how you can get uh, date time or month from the system date time library so I will give you an example of system dot date time dot now and this now represents uh, your exact time and it will be shown in a, a nice string format so I will just give you a debug debug.log and you can also see clearly that this is a property with the the black wrench symbol so system.now is a property and what it returns in this case is a simple string which is formatted in the default way you can see this it, it returns a string in which you have the date you have the and you also have the time now internally the time is not represented as a string value but it is stored as a number of seconds that have passed after some date on in 1970 but they in they have created properties that convert that internal representation of time into a human readable string so from the same internal representation of time we can either get date we can get the day of the day of the week these are different properties that uses the same internal representation but what they return you is entirely different from how they are storing it and how they are counting it internally so we are not aware of their internal implementation we don't have to worry about the internal implementation they are controlling they are controlling the access so that a private variable can be returned in different formats for different uses from the same private variable using different properties so this was a basic introduction of the various usages of properties now properties as you have seen is very useful for writing clean and better to debug code and you also have validation and error checking directly inside your variables you don't have to write separate function for very small functionalities and these properties will also be used uh, when I will show you in a video how to make state machines so for advanced usages these properties are incredibly useful